You guys know what monkey branching is? That's monkey branching? Find out on the show. show. You know what monkey branching is? is this, Anybody? Is like a butt condition? No. In the butt? Is it a butt no, thing? No, no, no. It's basically when a girl is friends with a guy but doesn't want to date him. So then she kind of keeps him around for like the friend attention. Zoning. But, yeah. well, friend zone, but keeps him around for the attention. And then there may be a chance of a hookup at some point in the future if there's alcohol involved or whatever. But she doesn't really like him. She doesn't want a relationship with him. She's just keeping him on a monkey branch. So you know, wait, 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 wait. Okay, does does this term exist in the in the mind of the woman or in the mind of the man? Like, because I know monkey branch. I know a lot of dudes are like, well, <laughs> I think it's a woman thing. Everything she says implies that she hates me and she doesn't want to spend any time with me and she doesn't want to talk to me. But maybe if I stick around, she'll fuck me. But that's I, not what it is. You, she's good friends with you. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're yeah. friends. They are friends, but they're not gonna date. She's not gonna bone you though. But she's like, kind of interested about what the dick might be. She like. might. Yeah, and she throws her feces a lot. It's the first day of Hanukkah. Hey! hey. This episode of Open House is brought to you by Blue Apron. Of course. Whoa. Stick around to the end of the show. We'll hear more about Blue Apron. Maybe find out if they're kosher. Well, that kosher salt is up to you. You can say no pork. All right, first question this week comes from Rails154. You are asked by Disney to make Santa Claus 4. It's the Santa Claus 4. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Uh, what's the plot of the movie? And what big stars would be in it? I mean, sequels are all about inversion, right? Setting up expectations, knocking them down. Sure. Uh, I say Santa Claus 4 is you become Tim Allen. So you, you hit Tim Allen with your car, you walk over, you're like, oh my god, it's star of movies and screen, Tim Allen. You rustle around in his pocket to see a card, whoever kills this man becomes new Tim Allen. You go, oh, 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 and then you get teleported back into the 90s and you have to do the entire uh, run of home improvement yourself. And you were like a young man with a drug problem, you were yeah, in prison for a time. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to say, uh, instead of, so the Santa Claus 4 is, like we said, setting up expectations, knocking them down. So with Tim Allen, basically he dies, but he gets killed by Robert England. Star of Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. It's a horror film. We turn wow. it into a horror film, and then we basically start a whole franchise like Saw. There's gonna be okay. seven or eight Santa Claus fours. I like Santa Claus the movies because it focuses on the magic of Christmas, but I think they could focus more on the legalese. You know, <laughs> right. really get in there, get in, right. find some other amendments in that clause, right. and really kind yes. of develop those things out. Uh -huh. that's so good. that's what I'd like to see. Mostly a lot of like interns and grad students going through pages and pages of documents, you know, thousands of years yeah. of Santa Claus and Christmas history to find uh, precedents and things that prove their case and what have you. Microfiche. And then uh, by the time they come out of it, they realize Christmas is past and they missed oh. all of it and oh. their family's forgotten who they the are. Ironing. I feel like when you hit the fourth one, it's time for the complete reboot. So this is Santa Claus Begins. Uh, it's, it's like his origin story of how he became. The movie ends with him with Tim Allen hitting him. <laughs> oh, cool. oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But we get Santa Claus's he didn't story. Hit him, by the way, he he didn't. Do, Did he fall off a roof? He or fell something? off a roof. Tim Allen really didn't do anything. Yeah, I've watched it recently. He just like heard noises and he went outside and he's like, "Hey, what's going on?" And then some guy on top went, "Whoa!" Yeah, and fell off. Yeah. Still, that kid had that one skateboard that had like it was like three skateboards attached to each other. So much. What the fuck was that? What? Yeah. I don't remember. Every year yeah. you bring up that skateboard. Santa Claus Four is Santa Claus versus Krampus. Uh, Krampus is played by Ray Romano. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, I'm, oh, oh I'm not Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Santa. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> he sells ladders now. Matt Peak, what about Santa Claus 4? I thought it existed already, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Just read the back of the DVD. What does it say? Next question from Ryan Hole123. I'm at home sick and have barely been able to get out of bed to do anything. What do you do to get energy when you're sick? Well, if you're anything like Funhouse, you come into work. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! <laughs> right now, yeah, yeah, here in the that's inside of the room, and the I trick is to get your come to work and sick, so they can <laughs> suffer <laughs> with you. Get that yeah. from <laughs> <me. Yeah. laughs> you shouldn't do as we do, though. I, I think the best strategy is stay at home, get some rest, but then bring the party to you. Just go on Craigslist and find someone who's willing to bring like your friends over. All the things you're gonna do that day, just do it from bed. You can do it now. Uh, I know that when I need some energy, I just commit petty crimes. Cause it really gets the what? adrenaline going. Like, okay. like go on a cruise ship and steal an old bag's pearls. 
while you're at home But then sick? you're stuck on the cruise ship yeah. with her. Yeah. Oh, no, and germs can spread so easily among the passengers. Yeah. <laughs> also, you're not at home sick. No, uh, if you're stuck at home, you can't move. You need to get the adrenaline pumping somehow, right? So you need a thrill. You need a rush. Right. Uh, stocks. Buy high, sell low. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> I think we uh, we killed two birds with one stone. I was. I apologize, guys. I didn't want to seem like I was out of it. I was researching. Okay. I say you develop a kink for spreading disease. You develop a sexual thrill for going into a restaurant and sneezing all over the salad bar. Uh, you go into the sizzler, you just hack all over the salad, and then you sit back and watch people eat it, and you just kind of jerk off in the corner. And man, that that gets your blood pumping. Uh, spreading all that all that viruses and stuff. There you go. I mean, That's also good. the cum because you're jerking off. All the cum. That's gonna be more germs that you're spreading, which yeah. is then gonna make you more aroused. You don't need cycle. to be. You don't need to be sick to do any of that either. You could just do it anyways. Matt Peak. I would oh. just I would just stay in bed, and if you have a mom, have her make you a chicken noodle soup or something. That's how you get energy when you're sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like how Matt was bragging that he has a mom. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just make your mom make. Yeah. Can I say yeah. like? Because I don't know if you have a mom. I've got two. Matt said like stay in bed. I've seen the mannequin that he hides in his bed, and then he goes out oh, to the parade. Oh, like Ferris Bueller. <laughs> like Ferris Bueller. Uh, next question from Talkit03. There is a girl that I am interested in, and she seems interested in me too. She's Ooh. probably not. The only problem is, she seems to be as shy as I am. What can I do to help break the ice? Well, you don't want to come on too strong, because shy people, they scare easily. Yeah. So just take, a, take something of hers every day, if you can. Make sure she's not looking, but just take it. And then after a couple of months, you got a whole pile of shit, you know, uh, pieces of hair, swatches of clothing you cut off when she wasn't looking. Make it into a big pile and then invite her to come see the collection that you've amassed. And she will be so impressed that you guys will hit it off immediately. Make sure to lock the door. And then uh, you'll have a great conversation and then you're on your way. He's setting a trap for her. She's shy. You have to figure out a way to bring yourself out of your own shell and also her out of her shell yep. at the same time. True. The only way to do that is with that three skateboard thing. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Tim Santa Allen in Santa Claus, I say cocaine. Oh, <laughs> that's how you break oh, the ice. Oh yeah, you just, just give her, her cocaine. Bit break the ice. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Do the cocaine Let's break too. the ice with some snow, yes, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, just like the Santa Claus. Oh, uh, I say you introduce her to a little friend of mine, Terry Cool, my alter ego. Oh, so I, like uh, the Dread Pirate Roberts. I just let you adopt this cool persona. <laughs> Do you have a mask? You know, here's how, your mask. But you're wait, like, here's the thing. You go, hey, bitch. Whoa! Get in the Camaro. <laughs> Why you you know how, bitch? But you know how Dread Pirate Roberts had like he passed the costume and the yeah. thing it, oh, to become yeah. the next. Yeah. Cool. To become That's the next right. Terry Cool. Adam Four. has to slit his throat. <laughs> 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 Spill his blood all over the kid. <laughs> That's the only way. Anyway, Terry Cool's coming for you. Hey, oh, ice. Elise is going to have the best oh, answer to this because she's a woman. I, so. I guess I can do. And it's five words Brendan Fraser movie marathon. That's four words, but. It's going to be. Uh, Mummy. Torch of the Jungle. Whoa! Good start. Deadly Big hit. Right. Deadly do right. Great. The Mummy. Finish. Big hit. Big hit. Blast from the past. Mummy again. And. And. You get a cameo in GI Joe. Starts with an E. And oh, Cino Man. There we it's go. Oh, it's oh, it's old. Oh yeah. <laughs> and she will. And she will come alive, much like Brendan Fraser comes alive on screen. All right, Matt Peak. How do you woo a shy girl? Because you're, you know, you're shy yourself. So how do you do that? I would just say, smash that ice with a hammer. Just put it out there, and then you know. Break Take your, your dick caps. out. Yeah, you get what? what are you talking about? No, just tell you're her. Saying, then, like, yeah. Tell her in a prominent Tell her as politely and charmingly and directly as you can That's that you like her, mm -hmm. that you're interested in her. And then you'll know. Take your clothes off. Over. We don't want to see that. Yeah, what are you talking about? Put it away. Outrageous. Just Someone's are trying to press feet in public. I thought Tyler Cool was too much. <laughs> it's Terry, but. <laughs> I don't remember saying any of that. <laughs> You're the next bro. You better get out. Lawrence, <laughs> right, your turn. All right. Uh, oh, that's a lot of letters. Mater the, the hater. Mater the hater. Looked like an I. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. All the lowercase. So small. Go right to hell. It's gray. Uh, it's almost time for Hanukkah. I told you. <laughs> what do you wish would last for eight days and nights? An episode of Open House. Really? Yep. I can start pulling more questions if we want these to last longer. Yeah, we used to do that. It's called the FAQ Podcast. 192 hour open house. Mazel Tov. Uh, uh, I want to speak. Oh, go ahead. Oh, my refractory period. You want it to last for eight days. Takes the pressure so, yeah, off. 
Literally. I wait. I need to just take a break. I understand that. Well, then leave the Terry cool glasses off and she won't be coming at you. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, mine, uh, mine is definitely Destiny Raids. Um, <laughs> so we did a Destiny Raid recently. You want it to be, instead of and eight hours, you want eight it to be eight, eight, eight days? Hours. I feel like eight, eight days is what you want. That's a raid. We didn't get enough time with Lord Callus. I wanted to see more of what that guy has to offer. You know, he probably has a vomitorium. Mm -hmm. Like, think about all the stuff. There's an orgy room that we didn't see. Didn't see it. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in that giant whatever S sex leviathan sex leviathan that we didn't see and I'm prepared to spend eight crazy days <laughs> in that thing. Uh, I'm gonna speak for Elise here. Okay, um, and uh, it's like Christmas comes once a month for every woman yeah. or period. I think a period should last eight days. And oh eight no, nights. I'm just trying to get it down in days. Oh. Yeah, she's already to half um, month. Eight seems like a total vacation. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay, I see. I'm yeah. sometimes you know a rough month. It's I mean, it's just, it's just the month. That's almost three full weeks of not having to spray out of your vagina blood. That'd be nice. Uh, I'm gonna speak for Bruce then. Please. I think Bruce would love if Justice League oh. lasted for eight days I've and eight nights. I've always wanted that. The director's <laughs> cut would be so much better. <laughs> Zack Snyder's got and all that footage. I there's know he three does. directors, yeah, well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. Carrie Put Sweats, it all together. a bunch of movies. Put it all together, I'll watch yeah. the eight days and nights of it. Uh, Matt Peak. I wish that Thanksgiving would last for eight days. Oh, yeah. Mm. It does. It starts on Hanukkah. Eat I already told eat you that. Eat. Yeah, it starts on Hanukkah. Elise. This is from Liquid Autism. Since James never seems to have a shirt that fits, oh, mm. what article of clothing would you all rather him wear instead of a shirt? Uh, oh, I thought of uh, Lady Gaga's dress that's full of steaks. Oh, the meat meat dress. The meat dress. Oh, when you dress. go and lift, what you do is you do you you know you Proteins do your right fucking there. back breaking squats. You take a piece of steak. Yep. Get that pro. Go right back to it. Mm -hmm. In a shaker bottle. Yep. I was just gonna say I'd like James to wear Adam for a day. Whoa. Cling on him like a like a baby monkey clings on to his mom. Oh. I thought we were going to be inside each other. I mean, <laughs> you got to adjust at some point. Who knows what's going to slip in where? I would just love for James to wear one of those, like, big bopper suits. Like, like just, a zoot suit? Oh, zoot yeah, suit. just, I think I that's always, like, I do walk with, like, my back yeah. back and my legs forward, it's and like I'm always chain. checking my watch yeah. Yeah, it's a chain, as I'm yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> and I go, ha, cha, cha, cha. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. I would love James to have to wear the Proto Man costume that he bought for yeah. Halloween. Okay, he spent so much money on this costume, uh, and then Mega he- Man? No, but that man. doesn't fit. Their problem is I, that they I don't wear stuff that fits, and that doesn't fit. I couldn't wear it, it because the thing went up my ass. Oh, oh man. I know I know at home I always try to wear kimonos to be as much like Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Peak, what should James wear? I think James should wear the cutoff like military vest. He's got good arms. What do you mean the guy that does the cutoff? Like, like you know, all the guys in Sergeant a, any sort of squad, there's a bunch that are all in the regulation gear, but then there's the one dude oh, who's like, usually sorry. Sorry sleeves no thank you yeah. got it all right Matt Peak last question all right uh from Charlie the Choo Choo says Matt Peak I just got a yurt Ooh. want to come live in it with me you know what a yurt is I don't what? know what a yurt is how does he not know what, what a yurt is it's like a tent but but an upgrade from it a doesn't tent. have a place so like a, uh, it's a larger well, tent it's like glamping your bathroom it's more insulated. In it. yeah. no no it's not glamping it's like actual yeah. tent but it's like yeah. a weird house that you can put in the woods it's made out of mud you'd love it they're like semi-permanent I gotta look, yeah. I gotta look into this stay for yeah. a while also, also really weird this man. guy wants to be a roommate so your rent would be What's half of nothing? I, think you also I have, have to gather half the berries and, and nuts. The best thing about a peak is you can walk out to that campfire and you can make yourself a delicious meal. It's provided you bring along some of the ingredients from your most recent Blue Apron. Yeah, the yurt's got an address. The number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country that makes incredible and fresh home cooking accessible to everyone, even if you don't have a home. A yurt's a home. So his address is just like one woods? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> woods lane. <laughs> the wood tree. Um, Blue Apron delivers fresh pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes right to your door or flap that can be cooked in under 45 minutes. A rotating menu of high quality recipes change every week, so there will always be something delicious to try. You know, you always have options. Uh, Blue Apron makes it easy to find new ways to cook. Whether that means you're using like ingredients you've never tried before. What was it? We were making something with like a, not a yam. There was something we had recently, the big red thing. Turnip. Turnip? Yeah, turnip, yeah. There was a turnip and I was like, what am I supposed to do this? It looks like a Dr. Seuss fruit. Mm -hmm. um, but I used it and it was delicious. Um, or if there's something that you've made a lot, like just steak, but you want to figure out a new way to cook it, you're probably gonna learn through Blue Apron. Um, cooking can actually be fun uh, when you remove the headache of shopping and portioning it all out and Blue Apron does that for you. Um, and also some people think dinner means date night. 
But it doesn't have to. Adam's been making it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner he, for two for one. <laughs> <laughs> but he saves his leftovers. Yeah. He, could, he could make them again. And he brought in... Was the you brought in some leftovers today uh, and everyone said so it smelled good. delicious. I brought in some cod and then we it's, played some cod. It smelled delicious. I'm sure they don't want me to tell you that you can microwave their meals after the fact, but you can microwave Absolutely their meals can. after I'm, the fact. They package up real nice. Yeah, um, some upcoming meals for this December that you can look forward to are Adam. I got the chili butter steaks with lemon, parmesan, broccoli, and potatoes. Am I getting that? Oh. Or that. what about a vegetarian option, Lawrence? Sure. Maybe some vegetable lo mein with bok choy and carrots. Mmm. But I like the ocean. Peak. <laughs> <laughs> so do I with the so I'd go for the spicy shrimp bucatini with cabbage and toasted breadcrumbs. Mmm, they all sound quite delicious. Uh, if none of those sound good to you, you're crazy. But um that's okay because Blue Apron has a bunch of meals to pick from every single week. You can pick whichever two, three, or five I think you want sent to you. That's absurd. Um uh, Blue Apron is affordable, flexible, and easy to make, and guaranteed fresh. Uh, Blue Apron is treating open house viewers to their first three meals. It's a $30 value with your first order if you visit blueapron.com slash openhouse, H-A-U-S. So check out this week's menu and get $30 off with free shipping at blueapron.com slash openhouse. It's a better way to cook. Peaks, so are you moving in with that guy? I need the latitude and longitude. Jokes, and on, jokes on you. Compass it was bearing. Me. I submitted the question. We're moving into a yurt, Matt Peak. <laughs> you guys are ready. finally going to live together. We're going, we're going to a yurt in the woods. And Matt's going to cook Hanukkah. for you. What? Matt's going to cook for you. It's going to oh, be great. Yeah, you're going to cook for me? You won't Everyone's going to be there. I won't eat it. I'll go to Chipotle. You're going to go to Chipotle from the woods? Oh, yeah, Terry Terry Coy. I'm going to get these turnips cooked. I don't know how. You guys doing Ray Romano again? That's very tall. No, they're doing that's better. It's oh, good that. it kind of sounds like Kermit oh, the Frog. So Kermit the Frog here. Uh, you're talking about the band? <laughs> yeah. You guys touched on something that was going to be my answer, which is Killer Croc. We loved him sliding around on his belly. Oh, yeah, he did. Suicide that was his squad. power, I think. Yeah. Croquaman. Oh, Killer Croc, Aquaman. Aquaman, team up, team up morally like, ambiguous. I don't really shit. know what their goal wow, is. It'd be like Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> 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 